Uh, I <coughs> I have a back to back cars. Uh, I have another the cars or the other section uh, a couple of minutes ago, so that's why I just rush in here. Okay. Okay. Now uh, <coughs> the other cars uh, take a little bit more than a uh, um, fifteen minutes. So I better uh, <laughs> go a little bit faster on on this one. Uh. Okay. So uh, can you see the the, it's just uh, those questions. The uh, city well pop open because of force or steam or those one. Uh, okay, and yeah. can you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so obviously. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, Crystal, can, can can you see the? Can you see this? Can you see the the screen on with the test yes, question? Yes, can. Okay, yes, that's yes, good. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, now, <clears throat> so um, this this hour <clears throat> we're gonna do uh, uh, take a look at the pressure relief valve, uh, pressure relief valve, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to uh, chapter number two. Uh, so I understand, you know, some people, you know, uh, we originally only have one hour, uh, <clears throat> but when I'm two hours, uh, I have some periods uh, arrangement. Uh, so this will be uh, on on the. Uh, will be caught and post on the detail uh, if you cannot make it. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> right now, uh, I I only go through a certain part. I don't go through the whole lecture, okay? Uh, so from here, the, today, I'm gonna go through the number one, the code requirement of the pressure relief valve uh, and testing and repair the pressure relief valve. And then on the second half uh, uh, of this, uh, Okay, no. Somebody is uh, is frosting, so that's why it's all my attention there. Okay, uh, now, so to today is about uh, the safety pressure relief valve. Uh, so this particular one, right, uh, is the safety valve. Okay, now on the safety valve, there is lots of code book requirement uh, on this. Uh, now, as you can see in here, uh, the there's no valve in between uh, the, the safety valve and the boiler. That's the illegal. Uh, so if somebody shut it off, you don't have any protection. Uh. <coughs> okay. Um, uh, the horizontal pipe uh, had to be as short as possible. Uh, and then the big piece of pipe go to the roof uh, and and the safety valve discharge and not support joint together. Okay. Next time you go to the lab, uh, if you move this around, uh, just move it around, you can see it. They are not joined together. Uh. And there's something wrong with our safety valve in the lab. Eh? They all join together before you go to the roof. Eh? Not supposed to be that way. Eh? <coughs> individually, eh? <coughs> excuse me. They should be go to the roof individually. Eh? So that is one of the there's something wrong with, with the installation. Eh? Okay. Um, so the safety valve, eh? safety or safety relief valve. Uh, is for relieving the pressure. Uh, if you have a pressure vessel or a boiler, uh, which have a chance uh, to exceed the MAWP, uh, you should put a safety valve in that so that it will protect the uh, operator and protect the equipment. Uh, so that's what it's for. Uh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I've, been <coughs> I've been talking for an hour. So. <coughs> now, <clears throat> they changed the code book definition uh, uh, a few years ago. Uh, so they group everything together. They call it pressure relieving device. Uh, pressure relieving devices uh, will contain all those ones, the uh, relief valve, safety relief valve, safety valve. Uh, now, so that means now uh, the pressure relief valve, uh, including all the following, okay? Temperature and pressure relief valve, uh, is a relief valve that can be actuated by over pressure or over temperature. Most of these ones are used for the, it's just a heating boiler. Okay. For steam boiler, we don't care about the temperature. We only, only care about the pressure. Now the relief valve, <coughs> relief valve, the characteristic of the relief valve is if you open pressure a little bit, uh, it, it will open a little bit. If you open pressure, just say you, you over pressure the, the system a whole lot, uh, 
it will open up wide open. So it's pretty much a proportion to the pressure inside the tank. Eh? The way it open, it proportion to the how much pressure inside the tank. Now most of these eh, are used for the incompressible food. Eh? That means it's liquid, water, liquid. Eh? Now, and the safety really well. Eh? <coughs> this definition we really bought. Eh? Instead, the pressure relief uh, device uh, can uh, either rapidly open uh, <coughs> or gradually open and can use on the com compressible and incompressible fluid. Uh, it's a gas and fluid. It can both can be there. Uh, now, but the safety relief valve, uh, most of them, uh, they do not have the characteristic uh, of the safety valve. It's just, uh, you know, the bow down, uh, those kind of stuff. They don't have it. Uh. Now, the most of uh, the the valve we look at in, in the boiler eh, on the, the steam plant eh, is a safety valve. Eh, okay, if it, it is the uh, if the whatever inside the tank eh, is liquid, eh, so most likely that is a really valve. Eh. If inside there is a gas eh, or steam, eh, it's a safety valve. So the characteristic of the safety valve eh, is just the once it open. Eh, pop open right away, okay? Now the first half second, just a half, the first half second it open, eh? it's just open a little bit. Eh? And then after half a second, it's a pop wide open. Eh? So you cannot notice eh, whether uh, the first half second, at all. all you notice eh, is just when it opens, just pop open. Eh? So that is the characteristic of a CT valve. Eh? <coughs> uh, uh, why? Where I'm going? Uh, I I'm going. I'm going backward instead of forward. Uh, okay. Now the the cold book. Uh, uh, the safety well cold book for the power boiler. They it all in uh, uh, PG sixty seven. Uh, PG sixty seven, PG sixty seventy two. All those uh, about this. Uh, there are quite a few. Uh, about the uh, safety valve. Uh, uh, in here, I just pick up a, a just a, a, a few common ones. Uh, on the four car level, we just you know use a really common one. Uh. The first one uh, is the requirement uh, for the how many safety valve you have is. If your boiler is big, uh, you need two. If it's small, you need one. Uh. Now on the uh, steam lab, we have the water two boiler. We have one safety valve. Uh. The fire two boiler, which is a little bigger, uh, it's a two to safety valve. Eh? So it because the code book said, you know, if the heating surface are uh, 47 and over, eh, you need two. Under 47 uh, square meter, you need only one. Eh? Okay. Now, e uh, electric boiler, they have their own uh, requirement. Eh? The cut upon is 1100 k uh, kilowatt. Eh? Okay. Now, the next one, uh, 67.2. Eh? Now, this one is uh, quite important. So you need well, actually, no. These two figures, eh, you need to, you need to to memorize these two figures. Now, most likely in a TSSA exam, eh, they probably will, will will ask you this, eh, you know. So, sixty-seven point two eh, is <coughs> if your boiler uh, is stuck on high fire, eh, produce or maximum steam it can produce, eh, and then your safety well will blow away. So, uh, the code book allow you eh, the the pressure on the boiler uh, exceeds six percent of the safety valve setting. Now, so let's say now in a scenario uh, is if your safety safety valve uh, is set at one hundred psi, uh, and your boiler stuck on high five, so and the safety valve blow, uh, you are allowed the uh, one hundred and six psi inside the boiler. Okay, so that is a uh, the allowable pressure there. Uh, Okay, so, so the your safety well should be, be big enough uh, to discharge all the steam uh, so that is the pressure only exceed by 6% uh, of the safety well. The safety well setting uh, is not the MAWP, but in here, uh, there's another piece of code. Uh, it said, you know, in no way uh, you can exceed 6% of the maximum MAWP uh, because uh, lots of boiler, they they, they operate uh, under the MAWP. Uh, so I, I would think, you know, the last sentence uh, is redundant, uh, but it's in the code book. Uh. <coughs> okay. 
Now the 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 next one, uh, uh, this one, uh, I this picture is from uh, I think unit number one, huh? Is just a picture of the fuel gas flow. Uh, now you see you have a steam drum there. The steam drum, the steam will go back to the furnace. Uh, this is superheater, and then there's a radiant superheater, and then you go to the convection superheater, and then go to the steam turbine. Uh, and then when the steam turbine use up the the pressure, uh, they come back in here, become a reheater. So that's the way it, it go. Uh, now, so the code book requirement uh, is the seat, the CT valve uh, on your superheater had to be uh, you gear to uh, the pressure upstream. Uh, so that means in here from the steam drum to the CT. Yeah. So you want to adjust your CT valve according to the pressure between the superheater and uh, the steam drum. Uh, there is a reason for it. Uh. Okay, now, so when the steam go through from the heat steam drum uh, to the superheater, the pressure drop, uh, it, it drop. So in, in this case, uh, now, if you put two safety well, one in the steam drum, one in the superheater, uh, the setting is the same. Uh, since the pressure drop from the steam drum to the superheater, so the superheater will never have a chance to bow. Eh? So when it bow, when the steam the CD well uh, discharge eh, will be the one on the steam drum. So just imagine, eh? now if the the CD well on the steam drum uh, relief, eh, all the steam. Eh, Let's say most of steam uh, will go out the steam, steam the, the city well. Uh, there is nothing left to go to or very really little steam go to the superheater. Uh, so all the steam is escaped from the uh, the relief valve. Nothing go to the superheater. But on in the same time, uh, you see in here, all the steam in there is already escaped from the steam drum. Uh, there nothing go to the superheater. But the fire is still going on. Uh, so you get nothing, in, no steam in that superheater, the fire is still going on. Huh? So you will overheat the, the superheater the tubes. Huh? So in order to avoid this, huh? in order to avoid this, so that means huh? that is a code book said, you know, you, the safety valve opening huh? in the superheater should be lower than the, the, the boiler was a steam drum superheater. So that the, the, the safety valve on the superheater will open first uh, before the steam drum superheater, uh, safety valve, uh, steam drum uh, safety valve open. Uh, so that you ensure there's always steam go through the superheater and no superheating. Uh, so that is the reason you know, why the <coughs> superheater uh, <coughs> safety valve is set lower than the drum safety valve. Uh, okay. Okay, now, so let's take a look at the, the construction of the, the, the safety valve. Eh? Now, so the, the, the safety valve, uh, you have a piece of spring, eh? pull star on the disc. That's uh, the disc. Eh? On the bottom there, eh? that is the steam pressure going up, eh? and the steam spring pressure pushing down. So one push down, one push up, eh? whichever is bigger, falls, eh? win right so you are just so that you know the the unnormal operation uh, the steam pressure on the bottom will not push out uh, wind your spring uh, okay now if the pressure on the on the safety on the boiler pressure is higher than the the force on the spring uh, will push up and then the steam will discharge uh, so that is the the basic operation principle of this uh, spring pressure and boiler pressure balance each other Whichever is higher, you win. So, boiler pressure higher, push the spring, and then you relieve. Eh? Okay, now, so let's do a, take a look from the top. Eh? Now, there's a cap in there. They put a cap in there and lock it eh? and put the seal in here, uh, the inspector seal. Eh? Uh, so, if the inspector seal is broken, eh, the safety valve is not legal anymore. So, they put the seal in there, put the cap in there, put the seal there so that nobody can access. Whatever inside there. The inside there, that is a lock nut and the jam nut. Eh? So the nut is you turn the 
the adjusting nut uh, in here, turn it down, uh, you, you compress the spring, you compress it, uh, and then your pressure will be higher. If you lose the, the, the nut up, and the spring will be lower pressure, and then the bowing pressure will be lower. Now, and then on top of that, there's a piece of uh, jam nut, uh, jam it there, so that you cannot accidentally uh, uh, make it uh, adjust this. Uh, so there is a, a lock nut and a jam nut there. Okay, and then you put they put a piece of, of, of a seal in here so that nobody, uh, an authorized person, cannot open it up. Eh? Okay, now another is that the, the lever test. Eh? The lever is just a one every three months, eh? you lift it up and um, do a test, eh? do a test, eh? and then uh, the, the inside part in here uh, we'll take a look uh, later on. Eh? Okay. Now, how come I always go back? <laughs> okay, now, so the force, uh, equal to pressure times the area. Now, the spring, not the spring pressure and the boiler pressure is holding it yeah, together. Okay, it's a force. Uh, the force of the spring and the force of the, the boiler uh, pressure created by the boiler pressure is decide whether it's open or not. Uh, it's the force, not the, the pressure. So force equal to pressure times area. So if the area increase, uh, your force is a whole lot bigger. So somehow, you know, if you increase the, the weld this, uh, the steam can push on. Uh, you have a lots and lots of bigger force, uh, and then the steam well will pop open. Okay. Now let, let's take a look in here. So this one is the, just a, uh, this part, uh, they, they bow it up, this part, it become here, okay? Now, the, there is a weld disc in there, that's a disc, uh, that is a seat in here. So originally, uh, only a small uh, smaller area in here. On top of the disc, uh, they have something called a skirt uh, or the lip. So to create a big uh, area, so that you have a bigger force, uh, the force equal to pressure times area. So a bigger area in here okay now and then uh, they they when the steam escape uh, the first half a second the steam will go into this area this one area the small area in here yeah, all around the uh, this one is just cut away uh, so that area actually is is uh, a wrong thing uh, all around uh. so this one is called huddling chamber so the first half second when the valve open uh, the steam will go all around the Underneath the the the, 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 the lip or the skirt, uh, and also then push it up, uh, and then you have the pop open. Uh, so that is why the pop open. Okay. Now let's take a look uh, in here. How how does it go in there uh, now? When the valve is closed, uh, the boiler pressure only force against the inside. Uh, so just like the, the outside lip in here, you're not pushing on. Uh, but the first half a second you open up, uh, the steam all of a sudden you accept to either pushing on the on the skirt uh, or, or the lid. Okay. And then all of a sudden your pressure uh, increased by four times, uh, three or four times, it depends on your desire. Uh, and then the whole thing just pop open. Uh, so that is uh, the case in here. Okay. So this is the the moment when the steam uh city well open. Uh, Allow the 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 steam act upon it to the lip, eh? and then all of a sudden your force increased by four, eh? and just pop open. Eh? Okay, now let's say take a look why why the force uh, uh, increased by four. Eh? Okay, so the force equal to pressure times uh, the area. If the area is bigger, and then your force is bigger, so you increase the diameter eh, of the the this double the this, uh, so this one is one, this double. Uh, so the area actually is not twice, uh, it's four times, uh, because area equal to pi r square. Uh, so you increase the r by two, uh, so two by two, two times two uh, is four. So the area increased by four. Uh, so when the steam go out there to the, the chamber there, uh, all of a sudden, you know, your force increased by four times, uh, and then it just pop open. Uh. So 
Oh, so this this why pop open. Uh, okay, now let's take the uh, introduce another term. Uh, it's called bow down. Uh, we've been doing bow down on the the boiler in the lab. Uh, many many weeks now. Uh, you just let the water out. It's called bow down. Uh, but the problem is that they use the same word uh, for the bow down or the CT valve. Uh, now the bow down or the CT valve is the same word, but it it means different thing. Uh, it is the defined as the Popping over pressure and the closing pressure, the percentage, yeah, that is the bow down, yeah, okay. The pressure between the opening and closing down, yeah, that is the the bow down or the, the CT valve. Now the Kobo set yeah, is the minimum at least two psi, yeah, or two percent of the set pressure of CT valve, okay. The two percent of the setting of CT well, not the MWP uh, CT well. Okay, so that is the minimum requirement. Uh. Now let's take a look why is this one uh, necessary. Uh. Now let's say if you are boiler uh, CT well at one hundred psi. Okay, if then no 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 bow down. Uh. So at one hundred, it will pop open. Right, eh? you say you will pop open. Uh. Let's say you go to 101 or something like that, right? pop open. And then when the steam escape, eh, your, your pressure of the, of the boiler drop down to 100, eh? and then the well closed. Eh? And then you have fire underneath, eh? you go to 101 again, and eh? it pop open again. Eh? So you, the, your safety well will be opening, closing, opening, closing all the time. Eh? This one we call it uh, chattering. Eh? So your safety well chattering, just, just like you you pumping on that all the time, uh, your CT well will not last. Uh. So in order for your CT well to last a long time, uh, they put in a bow down. So that means you know, when it pop open, uh, it will not close. Uh, now let's say the example again, uh, let's say you know what 100 uh, PSI again. Uh, so it pop open at 100. Uh, when it go down to 100, it will not close. It, you have to go down, reach the bow down. Uh, the bow down percentage, yeah. So if the bow down percentage is two percent, huh? So that means that the pop open about one hundred, huh? And relieve the steam. It will not close again until the pressure go down to ninety eight, yeah, ninety eight. And when we close, huh? So that you have a chance for the safety valve to stay close for some moment, huh? Will not chattering, huh? But two percent, eh, Is not really much, huh? And lots of, uh. uh not all CD well, uh, they set a little bit higher, um, 4% or something like that. Uh, so you open that uh, one, 100 uh, and close at 96, uh, and so that your CD well will not chattering all the time. So that is what the, the bow down for. Uh, okay. Now let's say we take a look how we adjust the, the bow down uh, of the CD well. Okay, in here. Now this one uh, is this picture. Uh, now in here, you see the red circle there? You, it just bow it up, become this, okay? The circle there, we bow it up, it become this picture, uh, okay? Now, so this one, it, the pressure from the boiler pushing on the dish, uh, so when the dish open up, the steam will escape to the hot doing chamber. There's a hot doing chamber, uh, it all around, it not just, uh, it, it not just, uh, this is gonna cut away, yeah? Uh, so it all around, uh, so lots of steam in here, the steam will, pairs against the area, the lip. Eh? So you have one area inside, you have another area in here, all around. Eh? So it's four times as bigger area. Now, so the escape eh, for this will be escape from, the steam will escape from here, from the city realm. Eh? They put in another escape port in there so that the steam on the hardening chamber will escape eh, faster. Now, if you, if you want to close this, close this uh, port, uh, if you cover this, nothing escape from here. Your bow down will be hold longer uh, because the steam will stay in the hot and chamber longer. So that means your bow down will be longer. So if you cover this port, uh, the escaping port, you, if you open this, uh, the steam will escape from here and there. So your bow down will become uh, shorter. Now, so the way to adjust the bow down, eh, it does the, the ring in here, all around, eh, there's a, what they call bow down adjustment ring. Eh? You adjust it either up and down. If you adjust it up, eh, you cover the port, eh, so that means the bow down is longer. If you adjust it down, eh, 
to pull down would be shorter. Okay. Now, the way to adjust this, right, is on the side there, there's a puck there. You have to unscrew the puck in there, put the screwdriver in there to move the ring around. Eh? But we are not allowed to do that. Eh? So they put the puck in there, they put a seal in there. So nobody can adjust it. Eh? So that is uh, bringing here. Okay, now, uh, so for for the adjust, we talk about, you know, the adjust the, the, the spring eh? using the adjusting nut on the top. Eh? and adjust the bow down eh, uh, on the top. Eh, uh, we are not allowed to, to do this. Eh. You have to have a SRV uh, vaccination or the contract, uh, boiler contract license. Eh. Any contract license, eh, they might not have the SRV vaccination. Eh. They cannot adjust it. Eh. So in order to adjust the safety valve, they have the SRV uh, vaccination before you can adjust it. Eh. Okay. Now, uh, so I adjust the compression spring of the, the CT valve, uh, the nut on top. I just uh, push down on the spring, the pressure will be increased. Uh, and if you lower it, it uh, will decrease. Uh, okay. Now, so the spring is so only a certain amount you can adjust. Uh, any amount uh, bigger than the spring can take, uh, you have to replace the spring. Uh, okay. Now, but no matter what, uh, the code book said uh, the, the popping pressure uh, can only can be adjusted 5% up or 5% down. Uh. If you want to adjust your CD well more than 5%, uh, you cannot do that. You have to buy a new one. Uh, okay. So that means uh, if your, your, your CD well is set at 100 PSI, uh, so you can adjust it to 105 PSI before it bolts or I just lower to 95 PSI before it pull. Uh, anything out of that range, you had to buy a new safety valve. Okay. Uh, now, so far we, we talked about three percentage already, right? 6%, uh, 2%, and 5%. So you should <laughs> look it up, uh, that, that three number there. Okay. Now, mounting with the pressure relief valve, uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, um, different regulation. Uh, uh, one, of the, one of the main one is the, the upright, yeah, it's ha had to be upright. You can put it sideways, yeah? and then the horizontal pipe had to be as short as tall possible. Yeah? And the exhaust pipe yeah, cannot touch the safety valve. That's another uh, requirement. How's the time line? Yeah? Oh yeah, we getting close to. Now I'm not going to do uh, the the water the the water boiler ASM E4 yeah? is a uh, boiler we really live well, okay. Um, now we, we, we're going to to skip this, uh, and then we go to the uh, number three, uh, testing and repair of the pressure we live out. Okay. Now, so as I mentioned before, uh, we are not qualified to adjust this. Uh, now, if you want to adjust uh, to repair or adjust it, you have to get the SRV designated boiler uh, designation. Uh, but we can test it. Uh, we can test it. So the two types of tests, one is the, the leaf test, uh, okay? Another one uh, is the actual test, uh, the pop test, okay? Now, so when you do the, the it requirement is every six months, uh, every six months you do this, uh, but most of the plan, you know, we do it, lots of time, we do it every month. Uh, the comb is, uh, is every, is, is, it's a three month or six month. Uh, steam heating board. Um, so for, for the steam, uh, it's a uh, three month and the uh, hot water boiler is six months. Uh, but most of the high pressure boiler, we do it every every month. Uh, now, so you cannot do the lip test uh, and the, until the boiler pressure is 75% of the safety valve set, okay? 75% of the safety valve setting, not the 75 or the MAWP of the, the boiler. You have to have 75% so much steam eh, so that you will not damage the, the, the spring. Eh. So you need some assistance eh, from the boiler pressure plus your leaping force, eh, the valve will open. Eh, okay. If, if it's really low, eh, very good chance eh, you have some dirt lip on the on the on the dish. Uh. Now, in case you know, um, you after your test, uh, the test is you just leave it, hold it up for five sec, five ten seconds, uh, let the steam pull, uh, and then let it go again. Uh. So, if you 
Up to your test, uh, some steam is still uh, escape uh, out. Uh, so that means there's some dirt on the disc. So you have to lift it again, let it bow, maybe lift it again, let it bow out the dirt. Uh, so that is uh, to clean out the disc. Uh, okay. Now one word of uh, of, of the the uh, warning is that uh, on when you're doing high pressure test, yeah, uh, a lot of time we tie a rope uh, on the on the handle uh, and we stand back. And then pull it that way, yeah? so that if there's some steam escape there, it will not come into your face. Yeah? So you're not getting burned. Yeah? Now, some of the big uh, safety valve, yeah? they have something called a escape office yeah? In, inside the well body. Yeah? So when it pull, yeah? the steam will pull out to the exhaust pipe, yeah? and some of them will come out of the ex escape uh, office. Yeah? And then it just happened, you stand right in front of that, you, you get burned. Yeah? So, Make sure you, you look at the, the escape port, uh, you stay away from that, uh, and, and then you pull it. Ideally, you get a piece of rope, uh, stand back and pull it. Uh, okay. So that is the lip test. Uh, the thing is 75% of safety web setting, and make sure you don't get burned. Uh, okay. Now, the pop test, uh, uh, the code book requirement uh, is uh, you have to do it once a year. But the cold book requirement also require the high pressure boiler to replace the safety valve uh, once a year. So that means uh, you don't have to, to test it, you know, you just replace the whole safety valve, uh, right? And then it get over. But most of the plan, uh, we, we test this, uh, uh, we test uh, the pop test uh, every, every six months, uh, and sometimes even uh, every three months we test this. Uh, now the procedure is just simple. It just close the steam valve, uh, no steam escape from there. Keep firing the boiler until we pop. Uh. Uh, now, when you're doing the test, uh, something you ha also have to notice is, is you have to make sure you record the bow, the bow down too. Uh. So that means now you, you, you let the safety valve bow uh, and record the, the pressure uh, and wait and, and lower down the firing way. Uh. And when it cools, uh, you record the pressure again. Uh, see whether the bow down is legal or not. Uh. So if the bow down is not legal, you probably have to send it out to repair anyway. So when you're doing a pop test, uh, you notice the popping pressure and the pressure when it cool, cools down. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think now we're not going to go through this. Uh, now. Uh, for how many? Uh, we, we have some time in here. So now we, we're gonna do, instead of going through there, we, we're gonna do the, the D2L quizzes, uh, okay? So these, these, uh, these questions are from the, the D2L, uh, so I'll, I'll just, it's just about we, what we just talked about. Uh, so I, I just want to uh, do some of this, let you have a uh, practice on this. Uh. Okay, so uh, now, Question number one, uh, okay, in here. The same video pop open uh, because of the force of steam, uh, which one it is it? Uh, okay, now just take a look. Uh, so, okay, uh, yeah, certainly, yeah, I think somebody get it right already. Sarah, you get it right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Joe Johnson, yeah, they get it right. Now, this one is good, eh? So, so far, everybody get it right, eh? Is, uh, okay, now, sudden increase due to large uh, area, uh, oh, please, uh, let, let's say, we'll, oh, put it in here. Uh, okay, so, in here. So, the pumping pressure, eh? because all of a sudden, you know, the area increase, eh? force you to pressure times area. Area increased by four or five times, it's a pump open, eh? Okay, so the next one uh, is the bow down wing, uh, bow down wing or the safety valve. Okay, so now let's see, see, okay. The bow down wing or safety valve used to, there we go. Okay, nobody answer. So uh, uh, again, uh, uh, is your answer right again? Uh, is C again? Uh? Now the pull down wing, uh, pull down wing. You adjust 
you adjust the pull down wing. The pull down wing will cover the escaping port opening or cover the escaping port, uh, the huddling port opening. Uh. So if you open, lower it down, you 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 shorten the pull down. Uh, okay. Now, so A in there is A is adjust the operating pressure of the valve. Uh. Now, uh, to adjust the operating pressure of the valve, uh, you need to adjust the nut on top. Uh. The jam nut and lock nut and the loose the, the lock nut uh, and then adjust the nut on top. Uh, so that is adjusting the pressure. But for the bulldog wing, uh, you, you need to uh, adjust the, the bulldog wing. Okay, number four. Uh, also, oh, well, this one is the definition. Uh, definition. Well, really well. So th this is a key word. Uh, gradually. Uh, right? So gradually, what, what is number four? It is. Oh. Okay. Uh, now, <laughs> I I would think I agree with some some of you is the the C yeah uh, is the definition the C yeah that's um, most Mister now so if you choose A yeah. Uh, mm, yeah, because the safety relief valve, eh, it also can uh, open rapidly eh, in, instead of this. Eh? So I would think, you no, know, this one is just uh, uh, the, the proper description of this. I think it's C, eh, the relief valve. Eh? It's just definition. Eh? Okay. Okay, number five. Uh, oh, yeah, so what's the bare to water heating surface when the boiler have to at least two safety valves? Eh? So, so two seven should be S in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, uh, the last answer again is uh, B. Eh? Yeah, B is right. Eh? 47, right? Eh? 47. Uh, what time we have? Well, we still have a few minutes. Huh? 47 uh, uh, square meter. Eh? You need two. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay, so this is another definition question. Huh? What is the minimum bow down? Huh? So this is an uh, easy one. Huh? Definition question. Yeah, you are right. Yeah? Uh, I think you are right. So yeah, everyone. So definition question, okay, everybody get it right, eh? number A, okay. Okay, now number number 12 and number 13, eh? it's the same, eh? it's the same question, one required calculation, eh? okay. Now, so when the boiler is all the way fired up eh, on high fire, eh? and the steam well goes and the CD well go, eh? you are allow how many percent? Eh? Okay, so yeah, okay, somebody uh, the crit says A and A, yeah, yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, so the answer is the six percent, uh, right? Six percent, uh, now six percent, you allow six percent, uh, so that means oh, if your boiler is one thousand, uh, you allow six percent, uh, six percent of one thousand uh, is sixty kPa, uh, so that the answer is A again, uh, is. Thousand and sixty. Yeah. So now, if if I I use this question on the on the test, uh, most likely we I will not just ask you what is the percentage, uh, but it would be too easy, right? You look it up. Uh, so most likely I will use some question like this. Uh, I just uh, give you a scenario. Uh, you tell me what what is the pressure you require, uh, something like that. We require a little bit of calculation, okay? So uh, this one, uh, if I ask you on a test, uh, most likely it will be this type of question. Uh. Just take a note. So this is a question you need to know. Uh, also, this one too. Okay, now this one is about uh, the 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 safety valve. Uh, okay, the safety valve. Uh, now, so why the the question pretty much say you know why do we need the uh, the safety valve of the Superheater lower than the steam drum, eh? because the, from the steam drum, 
to the superheater, the superior drop. Right? So your safety valve of the of the of the the superheater use this pressure drop as a determination of why we are doing this. Eh? Okay, now the, the correct answer is the uh, prevent the heating of the superheated tube. Eh? Okay, now so prevent overheating the, the PRV. Eh? Uh, the PRV usually, you know, is contract of the material eh? will be able to stand withstand the high heat. Eh? Now the reason why we do this eh, is. We want the, the safety valve bow first. Eh? If, if something over here, you want the safety valve bow before the steam drum. Eh? If the steam drum relief valve bow and then all the steam will go out with the safety valve, then nothing go to the superheater. Eh? And then you have superheater. Uh, the tube will be overheat. Eh? Okay, the correct answer is A. Eh? Okay. Okay, now number 18. Eh? Uh, okay, so this is. Uh, the easy one, okay. Number 18, okay. Okay, so, so uh, what is the skirt of leap four? Eh? Yeah, I think this one we, we have this one before, but a different wording. Huh? Now the 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 correct answer is I think you got it right again. Huh? Uh, the skirt huh, is to create a bigger area so that you have bigger force, huh? and then it pop open. Huh? Okay, so oh number nineteen is is the same. We have that one before already. Huh? We have that one before already. You know. Uh, if the boiler have a 60 meter square heating surface, how many uh, safety value you require? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I think most of people get it right. Eh? Uh, it's at least two. Eh? Now, when you when you uh, answer this high question, uh, the word thing is important. Eh? It said it must, uh, it must have some money. That means uh, when it said it must, that means uh, that is a code book requirement. Eh? Okay, now, so just say you have to have so many. Eh? So now if you choose uh, you know, three or more, that means, you know, it does not have to have, have three or more, but if you want, you can put three or more in there. It's still legal, eh? okay? But the best choice in this question eh, is at least two, eh? because uh, the requirement is anything over 47, eh? 47, I need two. Eh? Okay. okay, now. Uh, okay, so this one, eh, the purpose of something on top of the, the spindle about the spring of the PRV to prevent spring from now the key was the accidental adjustment. Eh? Which one is prevented from accidental adjustment? Eh?
Uh, okay. Now, uh, some somebody choose choose B and somebody choose D. Yeah. Uh, now I would think you know the best answer eh, is D. Yeah, is D. But but A. You know the well cap. Eh, you, you if you choose a well cap, there might be uh, a reason for that too. Because you no, know, the well cap will be prevent you to go in. Eh? Now, uh, I, I would think, you know, the, the best answer is still the jam nut and the lock nut. Eh? So the lock nut, so you can just extend to move it. Eh? So the, the jam nut and lock nut unit, eh? they are really tied together. You have to use a pipe wrench or something like that. Just, eh? You cannot accidentally put it in here. I would think, you know, um, the, the, the lock nut and the lock nut unit, but the the well cap also do the same thing, eh? but the, the thing uh, the is, uh, um, I would think that both of them are the right answer, but the D eh, is a better answer. Eh? Okay? Of course, the, the, <laughs> the well cap will, will prevent that, but uh, I think D is a, a better answer. So uh, I probably have to change the answer on the D2 error because I would think both of them are the right answer. Okay. Okay. Number uh, D. Uh, this uh, chapter one, objective number three, number one. Uh, so one of the common tests used to determine pressure relief valve is functioning properly or not is, oh yeah, this one is a, a easy one, uh, right? No, everybody got this one. That's good. Everybody got this one. Uh. It's just a try lever test. Uh. Now, um, again, uh, so make sure you know, uh, when you do the, the lip test, uh, you does not prove the safety valve works or not. Uh, you only prove the safety valve mechanism is you know, not sticking, and no, no binding or something like that. Uh, so that's all you prove. Uh, you, own, you only prove uh, the, the lip test. You only prove the, the mechanism working. And uh, it does not prove the safety valve works or not in the actual season. Okay. Okay, uh, this one, uh, uh, number six, uh, the pressure before you do the lip test, uh, had the 70, yeah, this one is easy one too, uh, yeah, so far everybody got this one. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, yeah, everybody got this one right, uh. okay, now, again, uh, make sure you, you know the 75% uh, is not the MAWP or the border. 75% of the setting of the CT well, eh? that's important, okay? S setting of the CT well. Okay, the last last one eh? is, okay, if the uh, pressure will continue to discharge after you, you, you try try liver test, eh? so what you do, eh? Yeah, I think everybody get this one right too, eh? Yes. Okay. Now, if if you after the lip test, uh, the steam still escaping. That means most likely, almost ninety nine percent is you have something on the this, uh, uh blocking it all crack open a little bit. There's some dirt in there, something. Uh, so you just do it a couple more time, uh, um, both this, this, uh, of the dirt out. Eh? Now, that is the, 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 the same reason why the you need 75% of the boiler pressure. Eh? So you have to have enough pressure to boil out all the dirt on the piece. Eh? So, and you are correct eh? if you try two feet time to key the, the well this. Eh? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Eh? We, we, we get it done, uh, still have one minute left. <laughs> okay, now, so uh, you have any question? Uh, we still have. Uh, I don't have many cars after this, <laughs> so any question you can ask. Huh? Anything? Oh. 
I thought I forgot to put in my laptop. Uh. Okay, so if no question, we end on time, uh, 10 20. Good, thank you very much uh, for coming hey, now. Hey, Bye. Kevin, yeah. I have a question. Okay. What is test two? Uh, test two. It should be on your an addendum. Uh. Uh, in here is April 9. Eh? April 9. Uh, so Good Friday is uh, April 2nd. So April 9 from April. On whatever your class time is. Eh? Now, okay, test two is on April 9. Okay. Okay, uh, any more questions? Uh, if I know not, this is, yeah. this is looking way ahead, but. Um, on April 30th, our final exam. Oh, yeah. Your exam is at 8.30. I also have a chemistry exam at 9.30. Um, okay. So I just want to let you know that ahead of time, I'll, I'll talk to my chemistry teacher as well and just make sure you guys uh, can communicate. Because uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. they're back to so, back. Yeah, okay now. Uh, Oh, that, that is bad too, because we need two hours for that. Right? Our exam, two hours. Huh? So uh, how about Thursday? Does, is the first day okay for everybody? Maybe I'll put our note. Huh? We we also have the, the first day, 8.30 to 9 to 10.30 too. Huh? So just in here, everybody in here. You have any anything in on our first day, the 29? We can do it on the 29? Well, you you I probably know. Have to check. Oh, OHS class is Thursday at eight thirty. Um, but I'd have to check to see when when that final exam is. I don't. Okay. That one's not listed yet. Okay. Uh, o OHS. Uh, who is the prof? Uh, uh Tiffany. Oh, OHS is uh John, John Barker. Oh, John. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. So I will make uh, something. Uh, uh, we might have to do the same thing again. Uh, it's just uh, uh, do the final exam in two different days. Uh, the, you know, the, the, there is one thing uh, what, uh, we can do is we have one section right on the first day, one section right on the Friday. We have a, a, a choice. Uh, so that means the, the question will be, will be, di will be different. Uh, uh, why? I my battery is running low. <laughs> okay. Uh, now uh, we we'll think of uh, we'll think of, of, of something. Eh? Okay. Uh, it's no. it's not till the end of April. Yeah, so okay, I, I just want to give you a heads up. Okay. Good. Thank you. I'll put up something and then we'll see. Okay. Okay. Thank you.